had a tremendous success in your life. Uh, you were the CEO of uh, Inistack uh, Exchange. Uh, you hold major position with uh, PayPal and eBay, Adobe, and now you have a leading position with Redcat. But I'm more interested to find out about your failures. And I also want to know how those failures to help you to fail forward. Well, you know, first of all, uh, I've had a lot of them, <laughs> um, as as most people who uh, who are successful have. I, I, I ascribe to the the approach that you know, fail fast and fail early and fail often, and then you you will be successful. Um, and there was a time in my life when the failures were devastating, uh, and you know, and they still you know they they are still tough to get through, and they happen. Um, Probably the earliest failure is really sort of a funny one. The first job I ever had was I was a waiter for two hours. Now, I don't know anybody who had a job that I literally was told by the maitre d', go home, you're in the way. And so, you know, I knew at that point that I wasn't going to be a waiter uh, and it wasn't going to be um, my passion. Uh, but it was a good example of learning what you were good at and what you weren't good at doing. Um, and you failed fast. And I hours. failed fast, sure, two hours, that's a fast failure. I haven't, can't say that I've had any failures like that as quickly. One other failure that was really difficult for me, um, uh, it was that actually to send communications. I was tasked with uh, building a team and a, uh, a, an infrastructure that brought a content management system into this company that was on its way to being a billion dollar company. And I had never done that before. I'd never actually evaluated uh, a content management system. This is very early, early in my career. And, and we went about it. I thought we'd made the right choice. We spent a lot of money, and it never achieved the results that it was intended to achieve. And I was very, I was haunted by it. Um, in fact, uh, the next job I took was at Adobe, and I, I, one of the things I was supposed to participate in was helping to do the same thing. Uh, and the same thing happened at PayPal. And fortunately, in the two following jobs after Ascend, I, you know, I participated in it and PayPal actually led the effort and was successful in pulling that together. But it was because of the lessons that I learned. A great example is that you know, we thought it was wonderful to have in the content management system oh, so many different ways that you could look up pieces of content. Well, of course, that resulted in tons of metadata, far too much that cluttered it up, and we wound up with a a taxonomy that would have made even the most um, complicated and bright person uh, run for the exits. So we learned at that point afterward, I learned that simplicity in that area and in all, many areas is much better than complexity. Uh, I know that seems like a very obvious statement, but very hard to actually do when you are in an environment where you're faced with a lot of complicated devices and all kinds of processes and and so you have to really ask yourself constantly is this as simple as it can be because there's such a tendency to perpetuate that complexity so that was a big failure for me and then personally um, you know I I had a uh, you know I had I've had a business failure before it's not an easy thing to say that you've gone through but you it makes you stronger when you get through it um, you do very well to um, you know, learn the lessons, and that's when you really ask yourself, okay, what could I have done differently? Um, but I also know that many successful business people fail, and that always kept me, kept me going. Um, and it's often because of those lessons that you wind up um, being even more successful than you imagine. So I consider those failures a gift. Someone once asked me, do you actually fail intentionally? And I said, no, uh, nobody wants to fail. Um, but one of the lessons that uh, I have learned is to, uh, to know when to say enough. Uh, and, and sometimes people fight, 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 fight till the end. And I, I believe that you need to fight and you need to continue to persevere. But I also believe that there's a point at which banging your head against the wall is not, not necessary. And you don't learn anything from it except you get a headache. So, um, so it's been... Um, it's been great. I'm sure I'll have more successes and failures in my life, and, and uh, they're, they're both gifts. Great. Uh, fail fast, fail early, fail often. Yeah. I like that.